Hi everybody. I want to show a new program I wrote and I don't know if anyone else will find this useful but I do. Have you ever tried to search in Visual Studio for a certain line of code and you know of some of what the line of code looks like but you don't know exactly the syntax so it's hard to search for and especially it's bad if like the word is something that's in your project like everywhere like the word return or something. So I'm gonna show you a quick example. I'll just stop talking and then I'll go over the code really quickly and this will be a really short video because my beer is almost out. I gotta get another one. So we're just gonna click on source folder and this is my work project. They won't mind. I'm not showing anything too uh, private here. Now the search text I was looking for, I wanted to see how to return a JSON string. I know I could Google this but I've got an entire project full of code and I try to do things the same way my project already does it, just to be consistent instead of googling something new. So I know my project has this, I just couldn't remember the exact syntax so what I did was now I can just type in return new JSON. Now this is great, before I do this though I want to show you this is the same search in a way, this is um, my work code, let me do 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 okay so this is the same folder and I just wanna I was searching for something that wanted to if I wanted to search for the word return just for example and this is only in one project of our solution which has about a dozen projects in it okay so I've got 78 files with the word return now I this is how I would do this before so I'm sorry if I wasn't making this clear this is a program I wrote a long time ago that's in the Microsoft Store that I don't have access to because I forgot my username. They have forgot password, they don't have forgot username. So that's another story, but this is what I did before today. I would search for something and I had search within results, so if I wanted to search, and this searches the whole file, so if I wanted to search for the word new, probably every one of those has the word new. Okay, 64 of 78. And let's say I wanted JSON. So prior to today, I could have narrowed this down to 11 files that somewhere in the file have the words return, new, and JSON, but not necessarily in the same line. However, today, well, I started this a couple of days ago, but I decided to finish it today because I needed it for work, so that makes it uh, billable. But that's another story. Uh, so this is same line search. It's just a one form little application. I'll just show you the GUI. Not much to it. Okay. So this is all you do is you browse for a source folder. You give it some search text and the extensions of the text you want to search. So one more thing you can do if you know what type of extension you're going to search for most of the time you can come over here to the app.config and put in your default extensions and I only have one if I wanted more I could add a comma and add more extensions but I only need one so that's the pre-tour of the code so now we're going to go ahead and just run it and I'll show you the uh, the way this program it narrowed it down to six files that had all of this in one line I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this because I don't need it okay so I'm gonna select my work folder again give it the search terms of return new and JSON so that will give me it has to match all three in the same line to be considered a match now if your code has code that's written like where you wrap it to the next line as one line of code this won't do you any good because this is well it would it just not as much as it would have if it was all in the same line all right now I'll go ahead and just hit search okay and you can see the result and I've got that cool little image that shows and it goes away after three seconds and let's say this is neat but let's say you want to put this into notepad or something where you can look at it well there you get another little thing and I'll just go over here to notepad and paste and here's the result so I don't want to show too much of my uh, 
works code here but that's just it just shows you the the line the first line number there could be more than one but it shows you the first one then I stopped looking so that's just the way this works and then I can open that up and find the line of codes that I need but anyway I don't know if anybody else will find that useful but I'm going to give you the very brief tour of the code and we'll go ahead and go into this because this whole thing didn't take very long so let's go to uh, main form and I'll go into the search button underscore click is the the main part there's a little bit of an initialization code going on but here all we're doing is after each uh, button click I just have another button off screen I click to otherwise the focus of the button is uh, kind of all messed up there's another way to get around that but that's the easy way okay and here is the the, the way this works, or the easiness of this is I have this method already written called file helper dot get files recursively, which is part of data juggler dot ultimate helper. And if you look at this, like here it's already got the files and you pass in the files by reference. So that way it does all this. And we're also returning the files, but it still it needs this by reference files because it uses that for the recursive search. And here's just the directory you want to search. And here is the search text control. And I want to parse the search text by space. So I get the search words using this text helper, which is also part of data juggler dot ultimate helper nuget package for win for dot net five. It's called something different for previous versions. And here it just gets the words. And then we come down here. Uh, one other thing we do, I get the words as strings. I added this today to my NuGet package, Ultimate Helper, so that I could get the extensions without having to write any code in this, basically. And then here I just, for each of the files that it finds recursively, it searches for the text of each of the words. So it does the search kind of like what I showed you the old way here. It just says, does that text belong anywhere in this file? If all three match, then we're going to go further and load the text lines. But if it only finds, you know, a partial match, you know, if only one or two of the words match, then it will skip. Um, I could add an option later. I thought about it for partial matches, but version one, I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. And then here I just get all the text lines. It's just text helper. It just parses everything on environment.newline. Here we come through and it just iterates. This is, this is part of ultimate helper. It's just a useful method that I've probably written this a thousand times. So it's worth the price of free. But it's just a way to check if your list exists without checking if list not equal to null and list has one or more items. So it just saves you, you know, the double check. And here I come through again, and this this time, yeah, we're searching on text lines to make sure all the words match. Instead of before, we were searching on making sure all the words match the whole file here to see if it was worth doing an in-depth search or the, the line by line search. And then here for any ones that if the temp words matched, matches our words to match, which is just the number of words you type in. If all are there, then it comes down here and it writes the results. And I added the line number because otherwise you have to go to the file and find it. And I don't have it to where if you double click, it opens the file because usually I'm working on something else in Visual Studio and I don't want the project open in that. But I could, I mean, I thought about it, but I didn't, I just wanted to be, I thought this was just a useful way to search for I need it all the time. Sometimes my work project, if I search for something, it starts going off into these, you know, every instance of the same text in Bootstrap and every JavaScript library that has the same text. And it's like certain text is just common. You know, it exists in like every library in, under the sun. So that's what this is for. I don't know if anybody else will find it useful. If you do, let me know. I'll put the link in the video description. It's on GitHub. I'll go ahead and show you really quickly. It's right here. It's just data juggler slash same line search. So I'm sure you can uh, see that a little better there. You probably have better eyes than I do. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And let me know if you think same line search is useful to search your projects and help you find 
code that you know you have, but you can't remember exactly what it says. All right. Have a great day.